Hello my friends um, and friends. <laughs> Hello guys, today I would like to talk about my achievements of 2018 and, and what's to come in 2019 for my YouTube channel. So I'm heading off to year 10 so that means everything's going to be hectic so my YouTube channel will be a lot more quieter which is understandable for like most teenagers who have a uh, YouTube channel. Um, but I think you'll probably see a lot of speed arts like this maybe because they're easy to make and I don't have a camera I, I can't afford it um, I'm gonna work soon so so I can afford more stuff soon anyway um, this is a little speed art well it's not little it's <laughs> it's six minutes long anyway um, the character here is it's not much of a character I just call it Mechin Mechin Ein so that's her name much of a name really <laughs> uh, but it's basically showing my progress and also I want to show you something about my art on my YouTube channel because I've improved quite a bit like the last month my art have really stepped up so I will showcase it uh, so you can see I'm doing a line art and it looks like I have AFK but anyway um, so my plans in 2019 I'm probably gonna learn a bit more a lot more blender and see if I can render a person or a character that'd be awesome um, I hope to do more aviation content like my B29 is it's still being built I'm still working on my B29 and let's see I can do learn more advanced anatomy and figure out more painting techniques and look like I have AFK like like when I'm time recording this, I think I was ordering some RC parts with my Fata. So yeah, it's going on for a bit. Um, I think I should talk about how I improve lately. So I've been taking some online courses like they're about ten dollars a pop on Udemy because um because they're fairly cheap. And yeah, um, I took. I start taking them six months ago, and here's some all that I have, and you can see there's a massive improvement from six months. I'm really good at I took those courses, and I recommend for everyone: practice does improve your art. It's always theory first, then practice. Um, a lovely analogy that Scott Harris told me is: you don't get a better at guitar by strumming it. You obviously go to a teacher. Same with everything else. Um, I think here is where I show you I AFK <laughs> Look at the clock go by <laughs> um, Yeah um, I also look into make more friends on YouTube Because <laughs> the only friends I make on YouTube is about 3 people and it's pretty crummy In real life I only have 5 friends Distant friends really so I'm fairly lonely, <laughs> doesn't matter. So yeah, I, I really need to address that. Oh look at this, I'm going to get some Soviet music. I think I put on um, In Hola, which is a lovely German song. Here's a little play of it. I, I love it so much. I, I love German music. <laughs> yeah, I have very strange taste. It doesn't matter, I don't care. Nobody uh, bothers to hear what I have to offer. <laughs> Oh yeah, then this song was playing in the background, I didn't really like it, so I put on the Funke Leider. Still like some colours. Uh, maybe let's go talk about my workflow. So you can see I'm doing uh, flat fills. With my my method is to splodge of colour, then I raise the ones that came out. Uh, making room for the eyes and the eyebrows. Yeah, a nice blonde colour. With the clove, I wasn't really bothered to blend and render it, so I went for a nice dark purple. So you won't notice any color or detail. Um, now looking back at my art on this drawing in particular, um, Mechen Ein. Um, I think her eyes are too much, like, it's a little bit distracting. Yeah. I need to learn how color, um, how was it, the planes for the human face, because I kind of got stuck on the nose. So yeah, I, I knew there was a shadow there, but it, it seemed not to work. 
This here I'm doing is color variation. It's basically you know you just put random blotches of color, and I start to the shade um the form shadows and the ambient and occlusion shadows, which is the secret of painting. I say is doing the ambient occlusion shadows. So just putting some little bit of um, shadow on the light form. You can see a little bit there. Using the shadows to communicate, there's um, the form on the lips. And then here I get really stuck like how the nose works, so I went back to my reference photo. Which is a YouTube thumbnail. I actually scroll around YouTube. I actually really like the... What's it? Um, how she look? So you probably can tell uh, what my type is. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, probably my next painting would be a Saviant or a beautiful um, beautiful Catalina or a plane or something. I might do a beautiful French F1 um, fighter jet. <laughs> um, this here I'm, I'm putting on the reflective light which really um, brings out the forms. So that's another secret you could another secret to get your painting look really cool. Um oh. <laughs> Um I ran out of things to say it's, it's, the video's nearly over. The only thing I can say about my Mitch and I is she looks uh, she looks terrible but Yeah, I think it looks terrible but <laughs> you guys have a fresh pair of eyes and you can tell it's flat and everything. Um no, I'm just adding the Raw strokes, which actually makes stop your hair look like play doh. Um, another thing I want to show you is some of my animations. So I might quiet down. So the first one is a random plane exploding. I made Blender. And then the next one is um, this lovely animation I made before my exams. I made this animation all in. Final Cut Pro, so you won't probably see a lot of animations. Um, so yeah, I hope you have a. I hope you had a awful 2018. We all know why it's awful. Come on YouTube and Logan Paul and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. Um, good luck, everyone. Learn something new, and if you learn something, you have achieved something. <laughs>